Within this PowerPoint presentation, I will discuss how I have used the full resources model to design literacy learning experiences. These experiences are based upon a digital text and are designed to advance students' literacy skills and their Year 8 media arts capabilities. I have also utilised the Eight Ways Aboriginal Pedagogy Framework to ensure that these tasks are supportive and inclusive for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. The analytical essay that accompanies this PowerPoint will expand further upon these concepts. I have based these learning experiences upon a digital interactive animation called My Grandmother's Lingo. The text is narrated by an Aboriginal woman who tells a story about her grandmother's culture and language, which is in danger of disappearing. This animation uses traditional Aboriginal symbols and encourages users to learn words spoken by the Mara tribe. The animation can be viewed by heading to the web address on this page. This text was selected to give students the opportunity to learn how to analyse technical and symbolic elements that are used in media artworks to create representations. And also to have the opportunity to develop and refine the media production skills in order to shape technical and symbolic elements in text for a specific purpose. The full resources model describes four literacy practices that are necessary in order to create and comprehend traditional and contemporary texts. Each of the following learning experiences have been constructed upon one of these literacy practices. As shown here, the Eight Ways Aboriginal Pedagogy model consists of eight interconnected learning processes. These processes were incorporated into the learning experiences to ensure that these experiences are supportive and culturally familiar for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. The first learning experience utilises the practice of text code breaking. To act as code breakers, students need to be able to break down and understand the basic codes and elements that make up a text. To begin, the teacher will use explicit instruction to explain some of the conventions and protocols that underpin Aboriginal art. This background knowledge will help students better understand the animation. Next is an anticipation guide activity. In this task, students in small groups will try to match up Aboriginal symbols on small pieces of paper with their written meanings. This task will help students activate their prior knowledge and it means that they will become more curious about the upcoming animation. This activity finishes with a teacher-directed class discussion to confirm the correct meanings for each symbol. Using explicit instruction and scaffolding to support the growth of knowledge is recommended by the Eight Ways Aboriginal Pedagogy model. This model refers to the process as deconstruct and reconstruct. This next learning activity is based around text use. To begin, the teacher explicitly explains the social purpose and intent of the video. This enables the students to be informed text users as they interact in pairs with the animation. Learning in this way by interacting with the animation connects with the Aboriginal tradition of using symbols and images to convey knowledge. This next learning experience is based upon the practice of text meaning making. Once the students have finished interacting with the video, they will move on to a think-pair-share activity. To start, students will individually use their knowledge of Aboriginal symbols and draw upon their past experiences to interpret the text. In this way, they are functioning as text meaning makers. In pairs, the students will then discuss what the animation communicates and build upon their understandings. Finally, by participating in a class discussions, students will be able to further refine their analyses. In the individual reflection component of these activities, students engage in non-verbal learning. This is another process that's featured in the Eight Ways model. In the next activity, students will take on the role of text analysts. Students will head outside, form yarning circles and discuss these questions. In this animation, who has the voice? Is there bias present? And how does this text influence our knowledge of Aboriginal culture and language? Through this questioning process, students will begin to recognise that texts aren't neutral. 
but they will be shaped by the author's beliefs and views. These types of critical questions enable students to function as text analysts. Learning outdoors also encourages a sense of connection to country within the students. This is another of the eight West learning processes, a connection to country. Students will then be tasked with creating a synopsis and storyboard for a short animation that communicates a story about their own family and or culture. Through these processes, they'll function as text media makers and text users. For a more in-depth discussion about the four resources model and learning experiences that will support Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students, please proceed to the analytical essay component of this assessment.